Hi there again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy, and I am with Logan, the RC sub kid, and uh, kind of excited to show you his next project because this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough uh, that you'll be able to follow along at home, and if you are so inclined, uh, potentially build it alongside. So uh, let's get started. As an avid fan of Star Wars, I've always been looking forward to continuing the series even after its last episode, so I decided, why not build something of my own? Well, not technically my own, but I've always loved the Millennium Falcon. I've always loved it flying. I don't want to build a flying Falcon. That's a lot of work. We're going to build a flying underwater Falcon. That's a lot less. <laughs> That's a lot easier. So, starting off, we of course have the nice cutaway kit. Now, I believe this kit was easily ordered off Amazon for around, well, $139. This simple little cutaway kit. We have the rest of the pieces in the back, but this is the main shell of what we're working with. We're turning this into a submarine. Now, this would be a very complicated process as spaceships are not very aqua-dynamic. So, we're going to be using some fun little homemade systems using this special design from my father. A nice dual chamber uh, adjustable system and this system uses quite simply two chambers of multiple interconnected adjustable jets I suppose you could say it's kind of hard to see but there is an adjustable jet it can kind of wiggle I still need to sand this out and that's one of them we have many many more and the great part about this is because this is all in translucent plastic, we can maintain the authenticity of the Falcon. Power. There we go. With some nice, actual blue lights simulating the hyperdrive. Now, going over how to make a spaceship act like a submarine. The dual uh, chamber system comes back, and a simple control and a simple control mechanism goes into place. I'm just going to put this into here just for half a second. Now this is going to fit in here. And since this is the only surface area we can control, we're going to use the two chambers. One is going to act uh, independently for a turn. So if I want to turn, only this side will be jetting. This side will remain inactive, and this will cause a nice little change. From there, we can also control the ability for it to spin in the water. As we mentioned previously, we have our little adjustable hitch. It's not fully mounted, so it can go all the way down, it seems. And using that, we can, of course, rotate it. So this can actually act almost entirely like the real spaceship underwater, which is going to be incredible. All right, well, now we just need to go ahead, finish assembling the outer shell of our model figure out how to actually access our model and get everything rigged up. Uh, of course, the files are going to be accessible, so you can go ahead, you can follow along with me uh, throughout our little video series. This is the RC Subkit, signing off.